What is up, you guys? Welcome back. We have some more news uh, in regards to trades. And now, first, I have a tweet I have to read you from Bob Nightingale, which clarifies the Trey Mancini trade from Baltimore to Houston. It turns out it was a three-team deal between the Orioles, Astros, and Rays. He says the deal is final. The Astros get outfielder Trey Mancini from the Orioles and right-handed pitcher Jaden Murray from the Rays. Now, the Orioles get right-handed pitcher Seth Johnson from the Rays and right-handed pitcher Chase McDermott from the Astros. And finally, the Rays get the outfielder Jose Suri from the Houston Astros. So that is all the details from this three-team trade between the Orioles, Astros, and Rays. Now also, real quick, due to this three-team deal, the Rays were forced to DFA fan favorite Brett Phillips, of course a hero in the World Series back in 2020, a couple of years ago for the Rays, a walk-off winner. However, Phillips was not doing well at all this year as he was only able to hit 147, crack five home runs, not even eclipse 15 RBIs, and a four 75 OPS so unfortunately he was the odd man out in Tampa now next we have some fairly new news as Bob Nightingale tweets out MVP candidate Austin Riley signs a 10-year 212 million dollar contract with the Atlanta Braves now frankly this deal is kind of surprising to me but you know what it's a good one this basically means He's going to make $21.2 million per year, and this will lock him up until his age 35 season. Now, Austin Riley is having a fantastic year in Atlanta as he's batting just over 300. He's almost at 30 home runs and is almost at 70 RBIs, not to mention he has an OPS of 964, which is outstanding. So, the Atlanta Braves kept a homegrown talent. They did not want this one uh, to go to free agency. They see the value in him. Alex Anthopoulos did not want another Freddie Freeman scenario where he becomes a fan favorite, he becomes really good, and you lose in the free agency. So they wanted to make sure it did not happen again. And now Austin Riley is there. Matt Olson is there. Ron Acuna Jr. is there. They're building a nice core that they can maintain for years to come, no matter what happens here this postseason. Also, we have another breaking news story in which the Boston Red Sox have made their first trade here this deadline. As Rosenthal tweets out, Astros are pushing to acquire Red Sox catcher Christian Vasquez. Sources tell The Athletic. Then Heyman tweeted out 13 minutes ago, Christian Vasquez is going to the Astros. Ken Rosenthal is on it. And finally, Bob Nightingale confirmed this news by officially saying the Houston Astros have acquired Red Sox catcher Christian Vasquez. The Red Sox will receive two minor league prospects per Mark Berman of Fox 26. Of course, we do not know who those two prospects are going from Houston to Boston, but nonetheless, the Astros have upgraded their catching position as they nab Boston's Christian Vasquez. And by the way, another tweet out by Ken Rosenthal. My God, busy day. Uh, he says, the Reds have traded outfielder Tommy Pham. Sources tell The Athletic, team not yet known. But just a couple seconds later, he says, Pham is going to the Red Sox. Wow, crazy day. And with that, that's all I got for this update. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below your thoughts. And as always, I will catch you guys later.